the first time I went was, was pretty rough. Lost some guys, a lot of things got blown up. I tried not to wrap my head around it because I knew that I was gonna go back to, to Iraq again for the second tour. And um, at that moment, I was ready to die. I knew that there was no way that I could possibly go one tour in Iraq and come back unscathed. I was prepared to die. And when we're there, we learn to serve our brothers and sisters. And it just becomes a part of who we are. A lot of guys, they wash out of the military because they don't have that servant's heart. Because that's just not the way God designed them. I, I said all my goodbyes that last time and I went. And it literally felt like that last tour I was, I was in prison in my mind. When we come out of the military, we struggle. We miss the camaraderie, and more often than not, we do not find ourselves in a servant role. So Operation Restore Hope uh, is a way that I can help my brothers and sisters who are struggling with, with the effects of war, uh, or just struggling to, to fit back in to society after they've been in the military. Oh man. Honestly, when I, when I was in the military, I was I was a lot of things, and none of them were good. You know, I was a killer. I was a soldier. I cared about no one. The amount of thinking back on deployment, the hatred I felt for people was unparalleled. I never thought that would be me, and I had to give up so much of myself to be able to do my job and do it effectively, to be able to take care of people. I thought I'd never. <laughs> I feel like I lost a lot of my humanity while I was deployed, and uh, I never thought I'd get that back. I really didn't. And I think that's the, uh, that's the biggest change that happened down there, being a missionary. <laughs> it gave me that back, something I never thought I would find again. It's not the PTSD. It's the feeling that we don't make a difference anymore and that our life doesn't have value. That's why guys commit suicide. So Operation Restore Hope is a program that I was introduced to and was asked to come along and to build a house in two days in Mexico for a family that didn't have a house. Um, the special thing about this one was that uh, we took a group of veterans to go and do the build. Yeah. Like, I'll tell you, man, I didn't want to go. I don't like flying on planes. I don't like going to foreign countries. I did enough of that in the military. <laughs> the night before we went, I prayed that Jesus would come back so I wouldn't have to go. I found that the Quinones missions was exactly where I needed to be. Military mindset with a mission. And that's, I mean, I'm, I'm a ground pounder. My job is to I go where I'm told, I fight where I'm told, and I win every fight. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, it, it, it ranks among one of the most rewarding uh, experiences of my life. Man, I got back and I, I, when I was down there, I was like, Lord. <sighs> okay. I said, God, I want to give myself to you fully. I never made that commitment before. I never thought I could. I never thought it would be possible for me to give more to God than I was already giving. And down there, seeing what these people were going through, it made it, you know, it really inspired me to be able to give more. And I just, I just asked God, like, please, I want to do this. I want to be able to give so much more of myself than I am now. And it was, it was through that mission trip that I was able to do it, and it really inspired me. <laughs> I had all these plans for all this money that I think I'm going to be coming upon. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to buy this. And now I'm like, man, I'm going to build like eight homes with this money. All this money, I could sponsor people to go down here and do more because that's meaningful. And everything else that I had planned, it wasn't meaningful. A lot of things I've done with my life that didn't have meaning, and this, this gave it meaning. And that's the best part about being a missionary. When you're on your deathbed someday and you're looking back like, did my life matter? Yeah, yes it did. 